Hi everyone, welcome to video lecture series from Damheat.com. Today let's see how to convert gray to binary and from binary to gray code. For conversion of any code, we need an XOR gate. So let us first look at the truth table of an XOR gate and then let us proceed to the conversion. XOR gate truth table is very simple. This is a basic XOR gate symbol. If A and B are its inputs, the XOR gate truth table is like this. If both the inputs are same, then the output of the XOR gate will be 0. If inputs are different, then the output of the XOR gate will be 1. You can remember in this way for convenience or if you want to remember the XOR gate truth table in its old fashioned way then you can remember anyway 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 or anything you like. So let us see how to convert binary to gray first. For this there is a small rule in binary to gray conversion, we do XORing horizontally. Let us, sh uh, I'll show you an example for this. Let me take 100 binary code. Before we start conversion, we will see this is MSB and this is LSB. For binary and gray code, MSB is always the same. So they can directly write MSB as it is. Then we need to do XORing horizontally as I said. We will have to XOR these two bits. 1 and 0, it is 1. Right? 0 and 0, XOR, it is 0. That's it. We have got our equal and gray code. You see, we will take the MSB as it is, then we will XOR horizontally, 1 and 0 XOR is 1, 0 and 0 XOR is 0. We will get the equivalent gray code. For getting the equivalent binary code from a gray code, then again the rule is the same one. MSB is always the same for binary and gray, so we can write MSB directly. And now we will have to XOR diagonally 1 and 1 XOR it is 0 again diagonally 0 and 0 XOR it is 0 so we get the equal and binary so 1 0 0 in binary is equal to 1 1 0 in gray that is equal to again 100 zero, zero in binary. We did this conversion. Now I would like you people to take a pen and paper and do the conversion along with me. Let us do simple conversion for a usual binary numbers. Let me take from 001, 010, 011, 110111. These are the normal binary numbers. We will now convert them to gray code. As we can see, I have told you previously, MSB is always the same. If we are converting binary to gray, then we will have to do XORing horizontally. 0 and 0 XOR it is 0. 0 and 0 XOR it is again 0. The same thing, MSB is always the same. I'll write it for your clarity. We are doing binary to gray. Zero, we will take MSB directly. Zero and zero XOR, it is again zero. Zero and one XOR, it is one. MSB is always the same. Zero and one XOR, it is one. One and zero XOR, it is one. 0 MSB is the same, same rule. 
0 and 1 XOR ring it is 1 1 and 1 XOR it is 0 MSB is the same 1 and 0 XOR it is 1 0 and 0 XOR it is 0 1 and 0 XOR it is 1 0 and 1 XOR it is 1 MSB is always the same 1 and 1 XOR it is 0 0 and XOR 1 and 0 XOR it is 1 MSB is always the same 1 and 1 XOR it is 0 again 1 and 1 XOR it is 0 so guys that is the equivalent gray code now let us convert it back to binary again same rule applies MSB is always the same for both binary and gray but for gray to binary conversion we will have to do XOR in diagonally 0 and 0 XOR it is 0 and again 0 and 0 XOR it is 0 MSB is always the same 0 and 0 XOR it is 0 1 and 0 XOR it is 1 MSB is the same 0 and 1 XOR it is 1 1 and 1 XOR is 0 you can see we are getting the equivalent binary code again when we are converting from gray to binary we are getting back the equivalent binary code again so that is a good verification procedure 0 MSB is the same 0 and 1 XOR it is 1 1 and 0 XOR it is again 1 MSB is the same 1 and 1 XOR it is 0 0 and XOR 0 again MSB is the same 1 and 1 XOR it is 0 0 and 1 XOR it is 1 MSB is the same 1 and 0 XOR it is 1 1 and 1 XOR it is 0 see we are getting the equal in binary code back MSB is the same 1 and 0 XOR it is 1 1 and 0 XOR it is 1 so we got the equivalent binary from gray we have converted binary to gray and from gray to binary it is the same if you have to convert more than 3 bits or more than 5 bits you can use the same procedure this is applicable for any number of bits you can expand this procedure to any number of bits there is no restriction at all now let us look at a simple circuit that which can directly convert binary to gray and from gray to binary as i said only an xor gate is needed so we will try to design a simple equivalent logic for converting binary to gray first let us see binary to gray I will represent binary numbers I will take a 4 bit binary number this time because we will be able to look at the circuit more clearly with 4 bits B3, B2, B1 and B0 B3 is MSB here as I said MSB will always remain the same so MSB goes outside without any logic involved now look here what are we doing we are trying to XOR the MSB bit with its next bit so we can take the MSB bit we can take the next bit put an XOR gate here then give it out it will be the next gray code bit the same applies here then we are taking here the next binary bit and XORing it with LSB so we will do the same again we are taking the next binary bit doing an XOR same thing again we are taking one bit here LSB and then XORing it we will get G0 and if we have to convert gray to binary 
then we will have to as i said we'll have to xor diagonally right we anyway i will take 4 bit again see remember the rule msb is always the same for both gray or binary now what are we doing after we take the msb out we are taking this msb and xoring it with the next bit so we will take output from here we will take this bit we will put an xor gate and we will get the equivalent binary the same thing again after we get this bit we are xoring it diagonally with the next bit see guys i'm using the terms diagonally horizontally just for ease of convenience so that you people can remember it easily but there is nothing like diagonal xoring or it is just xoring of consecutive bits so it is just for ease of convenience so i am taking the output of this bit and xoring it with the lsb I'm getting b naught so that is a very simple and very easy to understand code converter logic equivalent circuit all right now i'll give you people a tip many times even i forget which one is horizontal which one is diagonal or something like this so i'll give you a tip binary to gray right binary to gray you remember this b first b in this letter we have a very good bulge see we are doing xoring horizontally right you remember this as b b's bulge in the letter we'll write m as b we will do xor it is 1 we will do xor and it is 0 right in the letter gray we have g c we can make use of this curve to remember diagonal xoring first we write the msb we xor diagonally so this is similar to g we xor and after that 1 and 0 xor it is 1 we again do xor diagonally and it is 1 1 and 0 so we can get back uh, we can follow this procedure alright guys so this is how we do conversion from gray to binary and from binary to gray I will put the scanned copy of this document for your convenience in the below link. Please do visit damnhit.com. There are still more number of video lectures available there. You can find any technical uh, digital logic related videos and transistors, devices related videos or methodologies of verification any VLSI related video you can find it in dammeat.com thanks for watching and all the best